Hey guys, it's Ed Hud from Fault Blown Customs. I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to airbrush skulls. We're going to use some skull patterns that you can purchase from customshop.com. Custom Shop has a variety of stencils. These just happen to be the skull stencils that we're going to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this down with black to begin with. And all I'm going to do is just lightly spray it to get a pattern, to get an outline. Then we're going to pull the stencil off. Then I'm going to freehand airbrush everything on the inside. You're, spraying, you're just spraying it really loose right now. You'll go back and detail this out. What we're going to do is just start laying patterns all over. We're taking this skull right here and just turning it around. Kind of gives it a different look. We put it up here, sprayed it in this. Still the same skull, but just kind of a different look. Kind of mix them around a little bit. And remember when you're spraying in here, you can see your other pattern behind you. What you don't want to do is overlap it. So I'm just going to kind of spray up to it, but not across it. Because what we'll do is go back in and kind of just darken up the edges around each of them, where they're like overlapping each other. And then we'll detail them out. I'm leaving this area right in the center here open because we're going to do a logo. So I'll just kind of put a couple faces up to it. As you're airbrushing this one here, it's going to kind of go over an edge. So what I'm going to do is just kind of walk my fingers over it. Still holding it in the same pattern. Kind of walk it down over. All right guys, we just finished our last stencil layout. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and I'm going to trick out every one of them. I'm going to just do some fine detail and we'll take one and we'll just go all the way through the whole process so you guys can understand it fully. We're going to start out with white on this. Just kind of fill in the gaps here. I'm going to show you something real quick. I did a nice tight line, but let's say you mess up and you get into the mouth with your white and you're just starting out learning how to use a stencil. I'm going to show you how to fix this really quick. Let's say I mess up and I'm, I'm right here and I'm way over and I got 
I got a fog pattern in there. I just, oh man, I'm thinking I messed it all up. Well, you didn't. I'll show you how to fix this really quick. Take your stencil right back over it, place it exactly where it needs to go. So everything lines up again. Go back in and black everything else out. Now watch how sharp your teeth are. There you go. I like to go back over all the stencil lines, kind of fog them in a little bit. Makes it look like it's not a stencil as much. We'll go back in and add some highlights here in a minute. If you want, you can spend hours and trick this out. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because we got so many skulls to do. And plus, we're going to go back over everything here with Candy Tangerine and spray over the entire hood of this. The reason this line's right here is this is basic where we're going to have ripped um, sheet metal. This will fold open to the existing color underneath it. Basically what we've done so far is we've went back in and uh, just kind of highlighted our stencil, went around, made sure all the edges are connected together. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of white and highlight spots here and there. Just kind of going back and forth over this until you kind of get comfortable with what you like, what you want it to look like here.